Hello and welcome to the second part of the video manual of EA3. This video is a co-production between Forex Place and EA3 Software. In our last video we talked about what an EA really is, about boxes and buttons and we have built our first simple expert advisor. In this chapter we are going to discuss the logic boxes, but first we start with hidden buttons. Each box has visible buttons and hidden buttons. These buttons are hidden to save disk space. To make them visible just click with the right mouse button in the middle of a box and choose show all input buttons and they appear finally. The trade box. This is the main box of EA3. You can open it by clicking this button. The trade box has lots of hidden buttons, but you can find a complete list of them in EA3's user manual on page 13 to 15. Here are the most important. Open long for opening a long position. Open short for opening a short position. Close long and close short to close the positions. Take profit in pips. The number of the pips is the button value. To change it, just click on the button and you can type in your desired value. Stop loss in pips and trailing stop in pips. You can also adjust it the same way like take profit. And here is the button, uh, here's the lots value. Here you can choose the position size also by clicking the button and changing the button value. Now we can start with the logic boxes. The first we talk about is the condition if else box. We can find it here with a button if. The logic behind this box is if A operator B then T is true, else F is true. Operator could be equal to, not equal to, less than, greater than, etc. Here is an example. Here is the condition box and here we have the stochastics oscillator box. A of the condition box represents the M1 line of stochastics. B represents S1. The operator is greater than. So if A, M1, is greater than B, S1, if it's true we could open a long position for example connecting it to the trade box and if it's false we could open a short position. If we press the shift button, it's one of the hidden buttons, we are getting this input field. 1 means the previous bar. Crossover logic box. We can access it by using the text menu and crossover. Logic crossover. We can also access all other logic boxes we are talking about in this video. The logic behind this box is if A operator 1, B and C operator 2, D, then T is true, else F is true. Operator 1 and operator 2 could be equal to, not equal to, less than and greater than, etc. Here is an example. A represents the M1 stochastics, B represents the S1 stochastics, C represents M2 and D S2. Operator 1 is greater than and operator 2 is less than. So if A is greater than B, if M1 is greater than S1, and if C M2 is less than D S2, then we open for example, a long position, then, it's, then this crossover box is true, so we can open, for example, a long position or we can open a short position. And logic boxes. If A and B and C and D, then O is true. Here's an example. First of all, of this AND box, we have two different boxes, the AND L for AND long and the AND S for AND short. The logic behind these boxes is the same, but they have different color and a different use, long and short. Here's an example. We have another time we have here the, the stochastics example, the same example like before, and we, here we have a MACD example. And if this crossover becomes true, we connect it to A long, to AND long, and if MACD becomes true, we connect it to B. C and D are not connected, so they are true by default. So if this is true and this is true, 
both have to be true, not only one of them, both, all of them. Then O. So we can connect it, for example, to long position. So a long position will be opened when we have here a true value and here. On the other side we have, if it's false, we connect it to and short. And if this is false, we connect it to the B button of and short. And if this both is false, then we open short. Quite similar but not exactly the same is the OR logic box. This is if A or B or C or D, then O is true. Not A and B and C, A or B or C. Here's the same example, the same connections. But the difference is we only need one of them. If the stochastic is positive, it opens a long position or if the MACD is positive, it opens as a, at long position. It does not re require both of them. We only need one of them to be positive or negative to open a short position. So this has been part two of the video manual of EA3. My name is Mario Kofler. Thanks for watching.